Welfare is never possible in the presence of lust, anger, greed, infatuation, ego and envy. Today's video isn't solely about an ordinary individual. It's about someone whose influence resonates globally. He commands a vast following, drawing crowds who eagerly gather hours before his appearances. However, he isn't a movie star, an acclaimed author or a sports icon. He's the leader of a nation and not just any nation, but India, the world's largest democracy and the most populous country. If you haven't guessed the individual I'm referring to, then my friend, this video is precisely for you. And if you have correctly guessed, then congratulations, you have stumbled upon a video that slightly offers a fresh perspective unlike any others you have seen about him. Yes, my friend, you have guessed correctly. Today, we are diving into the life of Narendra Damodar Das Modi. His journey began in the narrow streets of Vardnagar, a small town in Gujarat's Mehsana district. Despite hailing from a humble background, he cherished his childhood surrounded by his family and friends. This video isn't about recounting the hardships he faced during his upbringing or how he navigated them with his family. Instead, it focuses on the inspiration driving him and his aspirations for the future of his country. Narendra Modi initially harbored aspirations of becoming a soldier, eager to serve his country to the fullest. However, fate had different plans in store for him. When he made the pivotal decision to enter politics, his family wholeheartedly supported him without hesitation. I recall reading an article where he fondly quoted his mother's advice, do as your mind says. His family, particularly his mother, consistently encouraged him and respected his choices. From the moment he hoisted the national flag at the Lal Chowk in Kashmir to his address to the nation from the Lal Kila on the eve of India's Independence Day, Narendra Modi has remained deeply connected to his mother's teachings. He admires her as the greatest teacher he has ever had. As we discuss Narendra Modi's global following, it's essential to acknowledge that with supporters come critics and detractors. While many rally behind Modi's ideologies, there are also who vehemently opposed to the notion of him being India's most revered Prime Minister since Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Some individuals go as far as publicly labeling him a thief, shamelessly disrespecting the honor of his office. This behavior mirrors publicly disrespecting a person's beloved family member, disregarding the feelings of those who hold him in high esteem. For every critic, there are supporters who deeply admire and respect Narendra Modi, making such harsh criticisms deeply hurtful to their emotions. In contemporary times, individuals identifying themselves as liberals often fail to regard Narendra Modi in an unbiased manner. They consistently levy harsh criticism against him across various platforms, neglecting to acknowledge the commendable efforts of him and his administration in shaping India's present stature. It's noteworthy that almost every political faction opposes him and his governance. This begs the question, is this opposition rooted in a perceived lack of action on his part or is it the consequence of his unwavering dedication to the nation's betterment? Before delving into an answer, let's reflect on the words of an eminent economist and philosopher, Cotillia. Power and wealth are never equal. A person who fails to understand the difference between the two will seldom be able to retain a position of power. Therefore, know the difference. This statement underscores a crucial distinction, the pursuit of power versus genuine service to the nation. In conclusion, I must express the profound sense of national pride and ensuing emotions that I, along with my fellow citizens, have experienced like never before. This surge of national pride and enthusiasm isn't confined solely to the hearts of Indian citizens. It resonates deeply with individuals worldwide who have a connection with India, no matter where they reside. Without any hesitation, I assert that the architect behind fostering these sentiments of national pride is none other than our Prime Minister Narendra Damodar Das Modi. <laughs> बीते दस वर्षों में ये सवाल कैसे बदल गए? दस साल पहले लोग नवजवानों से कहते थे नौकरी नहीं मिलोगे तो क्या करोगे? आज लोग नवजवान से पूछते हैं 
तुम्हारा स्टार्टअप कैसा चल रहा है दस साल पहले पूछा जाता था विकास क्यों नहीं हो रहा आज पूछा जाता है आखिर हम इतनी तेजी से विकास कर कैसे रहे हैं फाइंडिंग दिस स्टोरी इंटरेस्टिंग देन स्टेट यून विद्रो फॉर मोर सच वीडियोज एंड नेवर लेट योर क्यूरियोसिटी डाई